Apple just announced the iPhone 16 at its glow time event to bring the iPhone into the current era. Except Android have had a lot of these features since a while. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Android Technology and here are 5 iPhone features that Android users have had for a long time. Apple announced the ability to arrange home screen icons on iOS 18. Needless to say, Android users have had this option since, well, forever. And if you think Apple has done a great job with its new app coloring, Android did it almost 4 years ago in 2020 with Android 12's Material U. Apple's implementation is slightly better with the color tints instead of the simple light and dark Android themes, but it does not work very well in non-Apple apps. Although since Android 12, these features have been much more refined. Additionally, Android will continue to have a lead when it comes to customization thanks to its support of custom launchers and icon packs. This also applies to the control center and lock screen button customization. Android users have been able to control these settings in their notification shade for years. Some skins also let you replace the notification shade with an iOS like control center. iPhone users can now use AI to automatically remove objects in the background, change things in an image and so on using a feature called cleanup. On the other side of the fence, Pixel users have had these features since at least 2021. In fact, Apple's entire suite of AI editing features is at least a year behind Android. To make matters worse, Google has launched some Pixel exclusive features to its Google Photos app, making them available to the entire Android user base. Cleanup will have to go against Android's Magic Editor, which offers more features, better results, more granular control, and is arguably easier to use. Not to mention, it was available to Android users before Apple could launch Cleanup with iOS 18. The Apple intelligence features that the iPhone maker is boasting about have already been present on Gemini-enabled Android smartphones. Features like web page and email summaries, draft messages, automatically transcribed audio recordings, and more have been available on Pixel's and flagship Samsung Galaxy phone for a while now. Mail categorization is another such feature, which was launched on Android via the Inbox app created by the Gmail team before eventually getting merged with the main Gmail app meaning that the feature has been on Android for years. Apple's Image Playground feature also plays second fiddle to Gemini's wallpaper and image generation capabilities shown off at Google I.O. 2024. These features were available on select pixels and Galaxy phones before iPhones, giving Android at least an year-long head start here. Another example of generative AI coming late to the iPhone is Genmoji. Google introduced its Emoji Kitchen as early as 2020 before making it widely applicable in 2023. The feature smashes two or more emojis into one to create unique emojis for any situation. Now, hold your horses, I know that Apple's implementation of generative AI emojis is better than Google's and gives users the option of creating an emoji from scratch with the prompt. However, Google had implemented the core idea way ahead of Apple, so you can't really fault them there. And I'm not even considering the fact that these AI features will only be present on iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max in addition to the latest iPhone 16 lineup. So if you have an iPhone 15 or lower, just good luck trying to leverage AI. There is not a lot to cover when it comes to calling and messaging, but iPhones were missing a few core features that Androids have had since around Android 10. iOS 18 finally brings T9 dialing to iPhones, a feature Androids have had since at least the mid-2000s. You'll also be able to schedule messages with iOS 18's iMessage, a feature that Google Messages has had since at least 4 years now. Oh, and iPhone folk have finally come to RCS over a year later than Android, so welcome to the modern world, I guess. Additionally, most, if not all of the AI noise reduction features and call quality enhancements have been available on Pixels since at least the Pixel 7. That's a 2-year head start iOS arguably does security better than Android due to its closed ecosystem. But have you ever wanted to lock an app on your phone with a PIN or password? Well, you're going to have to wait until you get iOS 18 on your iPhone. Androids? We've had this since at least 2017. Granted, stock Android is getting this feature with Android 15 this fall, which does technically make Apple the first to bake app locking as a feature into the operating system itself. However, given Android's open ecosystem, both OEM and third-party apps that can lock apps and other files have existed for nearly a decade now. Androids also do certain things better when it comes to security. For starters, and this is an old feature so don't quote me on this, automatic OTP message deletion came way before Apple's implementation. 
you'll also find better, more robust biometric options to logging into your Android device. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.